Good morning, Peace Up. I'm Juliana. And I'm Angel, and we're here with your morning announcements. The Improv Club meets after school on Tuesdays in the Upstairs A-Pod. If you need more information, contact Mr. Green at Plymouth. Expect laughs, creativity, and some new friends. It can be as easy as taking a selfie video on your phone, and you can win up to $2,500. The Suburban Collection Focus on the Road video contests help bring awareness to the dangers of distracted driving. Create a 45-second or less video with your phone, a DSLR camera, or other video equipment. To learn more about the contest and the prizes, visit SuburbanFocusOnTheRoad.com. Submissions can be made now. They are due December 16th, 2023 by 11 p.m. Want to go to Paris, London, and Barcelona this spring break? There's one final spot available for one lucky traveler. See Mr. Linderman in Salem Room 1208 for details. Attention all PHS freshmen. The Class of 2027 Council will be meeting November 3rd at 2.35 p.m. in PHS Room 220C. All PHS freshmen are welcome to attend. Looking for a great spring break trip for 2024? Join the IB students on a beautiful trip to Italy. Spaces are still available to visit Rome, Pompeii, Sorrento, Naples, and Capri. The trip runs March 23rd through the 30th. Some once-in-a-lifetime experiences include Tarantella dance lessons, tours of Pompeii and the Vatican, seeing the Colosseum, visiting St. Peter's Basilica, and time to walk around and explore ex Italian cities. If you'd like to join this tour, contact Miss Amanda Williams at Plymouth. Do you have any old PCs or laptops? Consider donating them. SITS is an organization run by the students in the PSEP cybersecurity class that takes old tech and makes it new again and donates refurbished computers to other organizations or households that don't have access to such technology. SITS is running a fall equipment drive this year to collect donations. Help them reach their goal of 25 refurbished computers by midnight on November 18th by donating old PCs, laptops, individual hardware components, monitors, cables, mice, or keyboards. No donation is too small. Please bring any donations to Canton High School room CV26 or email SITS at contact at sitservice.org. You can also visit their website at sitservice.org for more information. Hello everyone. Kitten Student Council Class of 2025 is hosting a bubble tea fundraiser at Bamboo Tea on Ford Road. After school on November 10th, head over to Bamboo Tea to have a refreshing drink to end off the week. If you are a Canton Junior and are interested in joining Student Council, then follow us on Instagram at Canton Council 2025. And the code to join the Remind is CB89764. At Student Council, we host fundraisers, teacher breakfast, and most importantly, plan for the prom. We meet every other Wednesday on the first Wednesday of every month. We meet during advisory, and on the third Wednesday of the month, we meet after school. Join us for some fun. The Park Players Theatre Company will present Ken Ludwig's A Comedy of Tenors on November 10th, 11th, 17th, and 18th at 7 p.m. in the Logan Auditorium at Salem High School. Let's take a break and go to Newsbit with Samara. Good morning, Pisa. I'm Samara here with your Newsbit. Hurricane Otis made landfall in Acapulco, Mexico on October 25th, causing devastating destruction. Shortly afterward, a 4.4 magnitude earthquake struck the region. The Category 5 storm has left the local population struggling to access essential resources, such as food and clean water. Many residents have expressed frustration with the government claiming that relief efforts are inadequate. In their desperation, some have resorted to looting grocery stores in search of basic necessities, such as toilet paper and water. The forecast model failed to predict the rapid, rapid intensification of the tropical storm into a hurricane with winds exceeding 165 miles per hour. This is why many didn't evacuate as it was made out to be like any other tropical storm. Hurricane Otis is the most powerful hurricane to strike Mexico's Pacific coast. As of now, the death toll stands at 39 people with the number of casualties continuing to rise as many individuals remain missing. Although the president briefly visited the affected area, the visit was short-lived. He then uploaded a video to social media where he spent most of the time attacking critics who accused him of ex exploiting the situation to help him with in the upcoming election. Acapulco heavily relies on tourism for its economy, but around 80% of the hotels and other hotspots have been damaged, leaving local residents uncertain about when or if these establishments will be rebuilt. That's all for your news bit. Peace up. Have a good day. 
Attention juniors and seniors, the Career Center is your place to get information on colleges, military, and professional trades. Columbus College of Arts and Design will be here Monday to find more details and to register. Juniors and seniors should go to the Career Center webpage and click on the upcoming college visit schedule. You can also keep an eye out for posts on our Instagram, at PSEP Career Center. Are you looking for a job? Check out the virtual job board at the Career Center webpage. The job board is updated regularly. The Canton Men's Track and Field will be holding their recruiting and organizational meeting on Monday, November 6, 2023 at 2.30 p.m., room 305 in Phase 3. That's all for your announcements, Peace Up. Now on to Sports with Andrew. What's going on, Peace Up? It's Andrew here with your sports. With Barhe Athletics wrapping up, be on the lookout for winter sports starting up. In Detroit sports, the Pistons fell short to the Pelicans last night, 116-125. The Red Wings lost to the Panthers 0-2, changing the record to 6-4-1. The Lions are unfortunately not playing this weekend. In college action, Michigan will be facing off against Purdue at the Big House. Michigan State is playing Nebraska at home. Additionally, Ohio State inches ahead of Georgia in the college football playoff rankings. With Michigan in third place. That's all for your sports piece up. See you in the next one. What's up, piece up? Today it will be mostly cloudy with a low of 38 degrees and a high of 56. Have a good weekend, piece up. on display today. Which one's your favorite and why? Well, I think it would have to be the um, uh, Just Knew It because um, it was kind of a fun concept and I was uh, thinking about this for a few years before I finally got around to making it. And what inspires you to make these? I am. I like things that have a sense of humor. I like things that are clever. Um, I like things that are well made. Um, and I just like the fact that uh, the material I use is inexpensive and I can do it without too much trouble. Uh, so yeah, I'm inspired by a lot of things. I'm inspired by sports and dynamics and by animals and mostly by humor. And what do you enjoy most about coming out here? Um, it's nice to meet the people. I live in a remote area so I don't see a lot of people. So actually this is kind of civilization for me. Um, so yeah, and it's nice to get a, a gauge on how I'm doing with my work. Um, I work alone, so I don't really know if the things that I'm doing are things that I just laugh at or if somebody else will appreciate. So that's probably the best thing about coming out here. Thank you. Who wants $2,500? The Suburban Collections Focus on the Road video contest is back and the prizes are big. You could win $2,500, $1,500, or $1,000 simply for making a 45 second or less video. Grab your phone or a DSLR camera and create a message about the dangers of distracted driving. To learn more about how you or your team can win, visit SuburbanFocusOnTheRoad.com. Submissions are due December 16th, 2023. For more information here at school, please come to room 612 at Plymouth. Everybody feeling good. How are you? How are you? How are you? Everybody feeling good. Everybody feeling good. 